For that right, you need to go to settings on your mobile. Click on the settings. Under settings right, click on this biometrics and security. See here you can see this find my mobile options. It can be any mobile. I am using Samsung uh, Note 10. You might have used LG, Google Picture, uh, Sony Xperia or any other mobile you might have used even MI mobile, OnePlus. You might have used many mobiles but setting is the same. In Android mobile there is one option find my mobile. So you need to enable this. Locate and control your phone remotely if it's lost or if you forget your unlock method. So I'm going to turn it on or if you tap it on right, you can see these options. I'm using Samsung right, so I can, if I enable directly, I can locate my mobile, find my mobile at samsung.com. For that, you need to create a user. So, however, I'm going to turn it on. So if you don't have right, user ID, just create it. You can use your Google account as well, but I have already created. You need to create the Samsung account. So here you need to create your user ID and password. Already I have created, so I'm going to log in. Sign in. Once you click on sign in, right, you need to accept these terms and conditions. So now I turned it on. So you need to enable this remote unlock on send last location as well. Pattern is backed up and click on send last locations. So that's it. Now everything is turned on. Go to Google Play Store. Here, right, search Google Find My Device. This is authenticated one, so I am using this app, Google Find My Device. So you need to install it. Already I have installed, so going to open it. Which ID you have logged in with particular Android mobile? For example, I have logged in with a different user ID. So I am using particular user ID. The same user ID I have to choose here for login. Then only it will be visible. For example, I am using this only for test. So continue as the key. So I need to provide the password. So now the next step is allow find my device to access this device location. Allow only while using the app. Yes. Locating my device. See. So now I have two devices. One is Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and another one is Vivo 1804. If you have your mobile under cushion or somewhere in kitchen, if you kept it right, you can give a ring as well. So you can open your browser. Open the browser on your computer and go to this android.com android.com slash find. So click on that. I have chosen the right email ID. So now you can see the same two mobiles are there. So you can check on mobile as well or even you can check on your other browsers. So now what we can do is now I'm going to other mobile. So if I click the play sound right, you can hear the sound here. See, I'm getting sound. So if you click on stop sound right, even the same steps you can follow here. Click on your device and click on play sound. See, even if it is in silent mode, it will be ringing. You can identify you can identify your mobile if you keep somewhere in your room, kitchen, under cushion, something. So also right, you can secure your device as well. So you can lock instantly. You can lock instantly. You need to give your message and you need to give your phone number and secure device it will be locked only you can open it with the unlocking method so then secure device also right if you feel that if you lost your phone and you decide that you will not find your mobile at any cost so what you can do is you can remotely delete all these things click on erase device all data will be permanently erased from this device. After your device has been erased, you can't locate it. If your device is offline, erasing will begin when it next comes online. To erase your device, you may need to sign into your Google account again. Because if I click this erase device, right, I need to give some authentication uh, approval so that this erase device will be enabled. So this is the features of uh, Find My Phone on Android mobiles. So definitely if you bought new mobile or even existing mobile, right? If you're using currently, if you're using new mobiles, just enable this Find My Device. It will be very much helpful. That's why I thought of sharing and even right locations you can find it. See here, why right? It is uh, still it is contact device. It means I have not said properly Find My Device in the Evo. So if you go to the Samsung S10, right? See, it says in your hand. 
it says in your hand which means I properly set my find my device setups that's why it is showing here find my device located this device see and battery charge also it's telling switching to browser I'm going to just locate this refreshing this page so see it is showing exact place where my I'm going to blur this because I don't want to show this or just I want to show this simple as well so this is the way you can do setups find my device setups on your Android mobile it would be very much helpful that's it in next video I'm going to tell you separately how to secure your device how to erase the device that's it hope this video is very much helpful thank you so much bye